Good morning. Today is day 33 of school closures for our district and it's May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. That's a Star Wars joke if you've never heard it. It's making fun of May the Force be with you, but it's May the 4th. So if you're into Star Wars, maybe you thought that was funny. All right, so since the last day of um, Newark will be May 22nd, that means we have 14 days of work days left in our schedule. After that point, we'll just be touching base for fun and making sure that everybody's in good grade standing. So who participated in distance learning by using Moby Max since I checked on Friday? Well, Aaliyah logged in and Brody logged in, Emily logged in, and talent logged in so it was kind of a quiet weekend but that's what weekends are for for those of you who logged in over the weekend bonus points to you you rock let's look at work so for today if you're a second grade writing center student of course you have the opportunity to work on your classwork maybe you want to write that journal maybe you want to send me an email maybe you want to write a letter or a grocery list or something like that but be thinking about writing and how do you spell out the things that you want to say how do you put your ideas into sentences that make sense and sound like sentences that you would just speak out loud moving on second grade math if you have classwork and packets left please take a look at those oh my gosh i have a crazy hair sticking up i can see it in my video don't judge me for my bad hair all right moving on from that little distraction i'm gonna have to just like ignore it um classwork if you're done with that hop on to moby max and make sure you're pushing the growing edges for your distance learning um third grade math, I would like you to start to think about lesson 7.2. It is an exploration lesson, so it's a little bit harder because sometimes you need those resources, right, and different things and directions from your teacher in order to do exploration, but the explorations are about arrays, volume, and equal shares. So touch base with your homeroom teachers about that content because I'm sure that on your video calls or assignments, they will be talking about those things. For me, math boxes for lesson 7.2. They are on page 223, they look like this. Remember that these little boxes are your student reference book cheat sheet numbers, so you can get that student reference book on Connect Ed Online, just like you do your everyday math online games. Take a look at those. If you're done with those, or your teacher is doing those this week as part of a group activity, hop on Moby Max and put some more time into that. Next, reading. So if you are a writing or a math student and you're like, yeah, I'm good, then you can head on out and I'll see you tomorrow. Second graders, let's take part of this stack of sight words that we've been working on and let's see how you're doing on that. Third graders, you can certainly participate because this does not hurt you one bit to refresh either. Here we go. How speedy are you? Don't give up. You got this. You have a little tie, that one's harder. Did you get them? Mm, were there some sticky ones? Remember, if some of them are sticky, you can pause the video and you can decode those words. Decoding means you're going to sound them out using all those rules that you're getting so good at. Second graders, we're gonna to start to talk about the third grade lesson. So if you want to stick around, um, you may, otherwise you can head out. Third graders, you're up. We have a new lesson today. I'd like to move on to unit six. I'd like to move on to unit six, week one, so that we have some new material to work on. 
So I have some new vocabulary words for you. Let's go through them. The stack feels incredibly huge today. Wow, okay. So this word is for review, it's beginnings. Beginnings are early stages or periods of time. Tom and Lisa saw the beginnings of a great friendship. What's my word? My next word for review is miracle. A miracle is an amazing event. It was a miracle. Laura's soccer team won the championship. What's my word? Now we get into the words that are on the test. Are you ready for the test? Just kidding, there's no test. Ha <laughs> ha. But we should know them. We'll be using them all week. Reward. A reward is something given or received in return for something done. Dad took us on vacation as a reward for getting good grades in school. What's my word? Alarmed. Alarmed means afraid or frightened. Jess was alarmed as he watched the barber cut his hair. What's my word? Wealth. Wealth is a great amount of money or valuable things. We are counting our money and will share our wealth by donating it. What's my word? Anguish. Anguish is the great suffering of the mind or agony. Andy felt anguish when he realized his bike was missing. What's my word? Possess. When you possess something, you have or you own it. Dan and Meg possess a huge bunch of colorful balloons. What's my word? Necessary. Something that is necessary needs to be done or is required. Food is necessary for all living things. What's my word? Obsessed. When you are obsessed, you think about one thing all the time and nothing else. Paul is obsessed with space and wears his astronaut suit all the time. What's my word? Last one. Treasure. A treasure can be money, jewels, or other things that are valuable. Lila found a real treasure at the book sale. What's my word? Good job. This week, we're jumping out of informational text and into drama. Hmm. So the genre of this book is drama? Usually when we think about drama, we think of negative things that are causing a lot of stress. But in this example, when it says drama, what it means is that the text is like a play. So it has the characters and what they say, like a reader's theater. Okay, so reader's theater is a type of drama. A drama can be a play or a TV show or anything like that with a script, okay? This one says, The Naming of Athens, a play. So this book is an example of a play. Do they have another one in the back? Sometimes they have two stories. Let's see. Um, yeah, there is another story in the back too. But the, the second story is genre is realistic fiction. So that's a different genre. Let's take a look to see what we can expect for the essential question. The essential question will lock all of our different stories together so that there's kind of a common idea all the way through this week and probably next week. We've kind of been stretching every two weeks for each lesson. So the essential question for unit six, week one, how do you decide what is important? Hmm. What's important to me might be different than what is important to you. So how do we decide? I look forward to reading more as we look at the naming of Athens. This should be fun this week because I'm by myself. Maybe I'll have to change my voice for the different characters. Ooh, we'll see what we can do. But for today, that is it. I hope you have a fabulous day. The sun is shining. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.